There are a lot of videos with titles relating to Ben Shapiro crushing and destroying things, and they all make it clear that the folks who upload those videos have no idea what those words mean. Here's a video where Ben supposedly crushes a question from an atheist. I've noticed, in my opinion, I feel like you strawman a lot of atheist arguments, um, and I was wondering, can you give me your actual definition of atheism? Because I, I saw the conversation you had with Mr. Prager, um, yes. and uh, could you just could you expand on that a little bit for me? Uh, sure. I mean, uh, it would be more fun if you'd give me your definition of atheism, and then we could talk about it. Yeah, because absolutely. The, so, yeah, one, sorry, yeah. so I understand the dictionary definition of atheism is just somebody... There who, is no God, yeah. Right. Um, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. And out of the many atheists that I've talked to, um, you know, I, I've never met a single one that says that they have empirical knowledge that God doesn't exist. And I feel like that's the argument that you're making. I could be wrong. I don't mean to misquote. Well, to me, that was the difference definitionally between agnostics and atheists. Right. Right. So if you want to say that, if we want to talk about agnosticism and say maybe God exists, maybe doesn't, but I don't have evidence of it, so I don't believe, uh, you know, that's, that's borderline agnostic atheist. That's fine. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, to, to my central argument, whether you're an agnostic or an atheist, the bottom line is that without the belief that there is a purpose to the universe, without a belief that there is a purpose to your life, without a belief that you have the capacity to make individual choices, it's very difficult to build a civilization. By difficult, I mean impossible. So the guy asked Ben to give his definition of atheism because he seems not to regard agnostics as atheists, and Ben's answer is essentially, yeah, atheism, agnosticism, whatever. Then he changes the subject. That's a weird way to crush a question. Okay. Uh, so on that um, note of free will, which is what you're talking about, right? Yes. Uh, I think free will, by the way, is the single most important principle undergirding any civilization. I've said before that I think it's the opposite. Ben thinks civilization is impossible if determinism is true. I think it's impossible if determinism isn't true. It's impossible if laws and or moral instruction do not at least play some deterministic role in causally influencing people's behavior. Okay, absolutely. And, and to be totally honest with you, I'm torn on the, on the subject myself. Yeah. Um, and which is why... But in your own life, you're not, because you chose to come here and you chose to ask me a question, right? Well, not if he was predetermined to do those things, no. It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to think that, that the universe randomly imbued you with a set of atoms that showed up here randomly to ask me a question. That would be very disappointing to me. Well, either the atoms he has were randomly imbued, or they were deterministically imbued, or they were imbued according to some deterministic influence and a degree of chance. And the behavior of those atoms is determined chance, or some combination of the two. Those are the only three options, and none of them seem consistent with Ben's concept of free will. To everyone who helps me out on Patreon, you're a big help. Thanks so much.